They've only paid out 352,000. You just lost 150K. Hey, I'm John Stevenson, the Guaranteed Retirement Guy. Today, we're gonna to be talking just about inflation-adjusted annuities and exactly how they work and what is guaranteed and what is not guaranteed. When you're looking at inflation, most people who reach out to me, they are concerned about the income payments, you know, the guaranteed income payments that they're getting from their annuities. They're concerned about it eroding, right? The value eroding depending on inflation, really. And of course, in the last couple of years, it's been pretty high. The average has been around 2%, although there are arguments about whether that's too high or too low. But there are annuities out there that do provide for inflation protection. And usually the range is around one to 5% that you can select. The income is lower, however, initially. And so you have to think about that. A lot of times people have the same thinking on these as they do of taking Social Security early. You take Social Security early, you get less income, but you get more of it up front. You don't miss out. Um, versus waiting till you're 67 or 70 and taking more Social Security income. Yes, you do get, you do get a lot more income, but uh, you miss out on taking it earlier. Usually for inflation, I would recommend people ladder annuities and usually uh, fixed index annuities are the best option if you want flexibility. They don't give you as much income as a SPIA, a single premium immediate annuity or a DIA. But the problem is they are irrevocable. Once you put the money in, that's it, okay? You cannot change it. Okay, so if you think, hey, you know, it'd be nice to have access to this lump sum later on or be able to have more flexibility for my beneficiaries, then you definitely want to look at a fixed index annuity. But I'm going to show both of them to you so you can see exactly um, what this would do for you, okay? All right, so I'm going to share my screen and I already put in the numbers here. And so I wanted you to see basically if I was single, okay, I'm single and I was born... Um, February 13th, 1954, okay? And a single life with a $500,000 premium, if I were to take immediate income, immediate monthly income, and it started next month, okay? It would be $24.44 per month. You can see the top one here is Penn Mutual Life Insurance Company. They're a good company. Um, then you, they're followed by Symmetra, Nationwide, Global, Atlantic, and, and so forth. So these are called SPIAs. These are irrevocable, but I also put in an annual income index, you know, inflation protected of 4%. I could choose any any number that I want. Obviously, if I do a 1% or 2%, it's going to give me higher initial income. If I do 5%, it'll be a little bit lower than the 2444. But at least I know that the 2444, that will be that will be adjusted 4%. Every single year, my annual income is going to go up 4%. So that's nice. So what does that look like? Well, we know it's $2,444 going into my bank account starting next month, and that's going to happen for 12 months. And then after that, it's going to be adjusted. Exactly how much will that be adjusted? Well, let's look at it. So, and again, you'll notice that that uh, I put this in Camdex, uh, which really gives us access to all of the numbers. And again, $500,000, uh, purchase date, April 4th, 2024. I'm gonna take income May 4th, 2024. I also have a period certain um, that uh, if I die before 10 years, the income payout will continue guarantee to whoever I spe specify. And it will continue to have that 4% that, uh, that annual increase. But then after that, it's gone. So there's no, there's no changes, it's irrevocable. And you'll notice, of course, again, it's showing all the carriers, Penn Mutual being the top one, Symmetra being the second one. So let's look at how this income would look like. So I'm going to pull up um, Symmetra. Symmetra actually gives us a little bit more detail. So if I go in here, I say, all right, so it's $500,000. You can see the payment amount is a little bit less than Penn Mutual. It's $23.79 and 19 cents per month. Uh, but then it's going to go up um, the year after that and so forth, you know, with, with a 4% increase. Um, I put non-qualified and because it's non-qualified, uh, it is taxed with uh, the exclusion ratio. And basically that just means that the certain portion you know, 34% um, 
uh, versus 66% here as far as as far as the taxation. Let, let me show you that a little bit more. Um, I will here. Actually, you know what? Let me just, I'll just show you real quick. See right here, Symmetra, 2379, ta monthly taxable, 799. So they're going to tax you on 799 of it. The rest of it is considered return of your premium until, of course, it's used all the way up, and then it's fully taxable. That's how the exclusion ratio works. And they figure that out with your life expectancy. So, all right, and that's only with non-qualified annuities. Obviously, if this is a qualified, if it's in an IRA, it's fully taxable, the full amount as ordinary income. And if it's in a Roth, it's, well, it's tax-free. So let's go back here and we'll look at the guaranteed payments. Well, you can see the annual payments for year one, 28,550. And then it rises every year, 29,692, and just keeps going all the way up to 40,000. And this is just showing guaranteed payments because if you were to die at any time, you know, it gives you that 10 year period certain, right? So let's say I die after taking income for six years. Well, it's still gonna pay out the next year, 36,000, 37, 39, 40 to whoever my, you know, stated beneficiary is for that for those payments. And then it'll stop. Now, if I'm still living, you know, we obviously hope we live a long time, then you can see that income will continue the rest of my life and you can see that rising over time. So that's pretty cool. Um, by the by the, by the 25 years I'm I have $73,183 coming out. Okay? So that's that's pretty good. Um, and then of course you can see the uh, the full, you know, payout over time totaling uh, at at one point, one point uh, almost 1.2 million dollars. So it just keeps on rising, um, which is always good to see that with the inflation. Now with Penn Mutual, Penn Mutual did not give me a detail like Symmetra did, but it's still exactly the same. You'll notice here the monthly income starts at 244404 and then they're basically saying the annual annual payout percentage is 5.9. You know, that's that's what we're starting you out with uh, based off your 500k. And again, non-taxable, you're not, you're not being taxed on the 1762 that's coming to you, but you are taxed on 681, and that's based off the earnings, okay? Uh, again, so that it is, it is all about the exclusion ratio. If you, wanna, if you wanna learn about the exclusion ratio and exactly how it works, just go to my channel, The Guaranteed Retirement Guy, and look up exclusion ratio. So it's pretty short, but it, but it gets right to the point and explains it very well. Um, but you can see total amount of guaranteed payments. Well saying $352,000, okay, certain period end date. So it's basically, that's the kind of the downside um, that I want to point out here. The downside for this, since it is inflation adjusted, they're giving you less income in the beginning so that they can give you more income later on with inflation. The problem with that is if you die within 10 years, they will continue to pay out, you know, the income until the 10th year, the end of the 10th year. After that, the income stops. So at that point, they've only paid out 352,000. You just lost 150K. That's why I like the fixed index annuity options because you never lose your money, okay? The, the, the insurance company is going to pay out whatever is left in there to your beneficiaries. They're not gonna keep it. So I do like that. So the inflation options are not as solid as the SPIAs, but they still offer them. So, and I'll show that next. Let's go back and based off of the same information, I'm going to go to a uh, fixed index annuity with an income rider, okay? Um, all right, so same person, same $500,000. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say increasing income. So I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna start income the same time. Let's, let's see what this looks like. Well. I'm not starting out at, what, 28,000 and some change. I'm starting out at 37,675. Well, that's pretty good. It's a lot higher, a lot higher income. Okay, this is why I recommend the fixed index annuities. If you wanna hire, um, you know, if you, wanna, if you wanna start out higher, I would recommend it. So it's up to you, um, but you could just see, I mean, the income levels here are pretty darn good. Uh, and if I was to show this monthly, look at that. You're not starting out at 24.44 a month. You're starting out at 3,140 guaranteed. And that's Emeritas followed by F and G, and then you've got Guarantee Income Life Insurance Company, which we just call Gillico. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go up here and say, all right. Well, 
how much exactly does this go up? Well, let's take a look. Well, if it earns nothing, if the interest earns nothing, it'll never go up. Okay, thirty-seven thousand six seventy-nine a year. Your balance will go out by you know eleven years, and that's it. But the income continues, and um, you can see the total withdrawals is pretty similar. Yeah, you know one point one three. So a little bit less, but you get a lot more income in the beginning, but no increases later on. So maybe it's, so it's, it's a little bit less, but not much. Now that's with no growth. Okay, that's very unrealistic. When you have, you know, you have indexes, you're going to have some growth. So here's what it actually looks like with growth. Well, if we have decent growth in the index, we're going to give you this kind of raise every year. It's going to be 37, 38, you know, and you can see these uh, raises that you get over time. So by the time you're 82, you're getting 46,841 a year. Well, that's not bad. Um, and then you'll notice at that point the account balance runs out. There's nothing more to grow, and so it continues at that 46,000 level until you pass away. Now, look at this. By the time you're 99, you've taken out 1.3 million and 53,000. Okay, so that's pretty good um, when you're looking at that. But here's the other thing to, to remember. If you die, let's say you die in year seven, okay? Instead of, you know, you notice you've been taking out 40, at that point you've taken out $43,000 a year, You've already taken out way more than you would have taken out with a SPIA. And if it has decent growth, you'll notice that the guaranteed minimum value, look, it's in the $200,000 range, okay? You're, you're, that's awesome. Look at the death benefit. The death benefit is like 281,000, okay? That's, that's why this is so important to compare um, the different annuity types. SPIAs, yes, they're irrevocable. You know exactly what you're gonna get. But there is a chance that you'll lose some of your principal if you die too early. There's a chance that uh, you don't leave as much to your beneficiaries as you'd like to. And there's also, it's irrevocable. So in five years, you get terminally ill and you want to take all the money out on vacation, you can't do that with your SPIA. You can't. You, it's, you're stuck. You're going to keep taking the income until you die. And then what if there's any years left in that period certain, it'll the payments will continue to your beneficiary, and then they stop. With this... If you want to take your money out, let's say you're terminally ill, you can, okay? Take out whatever the balance is. You can take it out and spend it. So obviously the income stopped, but if you're terminally ill and you want to just use it and party, go right ahead. Um, so that is just with that annuity. I'm just curious for one more. If F, F and G gives you a little bit less. Actually, you know what? Let's go down to, let's go down to Gillico. Let's see what they're going to give us. So here's what I like about Gillico. Gillico will give you guaranteed um, raises, regardless of the index. So that's kind of cool. So $500,000, we promise we're gonna give you this type of raise every single year until of course the account balance runs out. Then we're gonna leave it at that $49,000. Actually, you know what? Oh, I digress, look at that. It just keeps on going up. Okay, well, so there you go. That is the guaranteed. Okay, let's look at um, if it has growth. Well, if it has growth, you can see it's just higher. See that uh, that growing? By the time you're in your 90s, it's around the $70,000 mark. So pretty good. Uh, it's pretty darn close. Gillico is very, very close to the SPIA. And of course, you have all of the flexibility. If you have growth, and let's say by the time you're 80, you decide, I don't want the income, or I don't need the income, or we need it for something else, we need to take it out, you can do that absolutely can access your cash and with a SPIA or a DIA, you cannot. It's irrevocable. It continues, the, the payments continue, but you cannot change any of the terms ever. It stays the same. So anyways, things to think about, but I just wanted to go over this because I do have people that, that ask about these. Um, I mean, most people that reach out to me and they're like, oh, man, I want as much income as I can now because I don't know how long I'm gonna live. It would be nice to have it increasing, and so and what they'll do is they'll buy several annuities. They'll buy one to start now, and then they'll buy, they'll buy like two or three right now, but they'll activate just one right now, and then they'll activate another one in five years, and then another one in 10 years. That's really, in my opinion, probably one of the best ways to not only fight inflation, but beat it. And so and with that, let me just go back here and say, all right, $500,000. If I just wanted straight income from $500,000 instead of increasing, um, I can get... 3,140 beginning right now, and I know it's gonna increase little by little, um, or 
I can just do a level benefit right from the beginning. It's never going to go up, but it's giving me higher in the beginning. Let's see what that is. All right, so Gillico. Gillico is going to give me $3,631. So there you go. Another 500 bucks per month. Um, so I'm getting more income right from the beginning. And so that's kind of why a lot of people like to do that because they want as much income as they can possibly get. So you can see this is going to give me 43 grand rest of my life. And you notice by the time of 99, the numbers work out about the same, even with some of the increasing 1.3 million, right? We're always around that range. So I'm just saying you're taking more income in the beginning instead of waiting several years to get up to that number. So it's your choice. You can definitely decide, but if you want to compare these, we can do that. Um, I just, I, I have my opinions about why certain annuities work better than others and why I think you should do it. But at the same time, I also know it's it's really up to you and it's your decision and uh, knowledge is power. And that's why if you want to book a call with me, I'll, we can go over everything. I'll answer your questions. And uh, you'll notice there's a link below this video. You can get on my calendar. We can chat and decide exactly which annuity works best for you. And then I can help you set it up. So it's that easy. Um, anyways, thanks again for watching. I know this video was kind of long, but I really wanted to dive in deep because I have a lot of questions about how these annuities work, what they look like. Well, there you go, folks. This is exactly what it looks like. Okay, so thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Like the video content? Please share your thoughts on the comment tab. Would love to hear from you and answer any questions that you have.